I'm going to play a game of Siamese Mahjong using National Mahjong League rules. If you'd like to know more about this version, look for links below the video, including a link to the online game. Basically, in a nutshell, you're going head to head, playing two hands at one time. If you're new to Mahjong, or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way, you won't miss anything. All my tiles have been mixed and built into walls next to the risers. This way we can keep track of the progress of the game based on how many tiles are left for picking. I'm going to deal the tiles now. Player 1 will get 28 tiles. Player two will get 27. Then we're gonna look at each hand and figure out which category to focus on. Everybody has their tiles. Let's see what we can do for player one. For this player, I like to look at the multiples because for American Mahjong, that's where the strength is. So we have three flowers, a pair of Norths, a pair of Reds, a pair of Nines, Threes, and a pair of Twos. I'm kind of wondering if we could play north and south with reds for one. North and south with reds is the very first hand under winds and dragons. And then for the second hand, I do see a lot of three, six, nine. So if we went with north and south with reds and 369, we would have eight discards with joker bait. This is where you can hold these, even though we don't use them for our hand, until late in the game, discard one, and then hope that the opponent takes it with a joker and then on our next turn, we can exchange the joker for the natural tile. That's the idea behind joker bait. So I think another possibility could be something consecutive. One, two, three, two, three, two, three, three. So I think I would hold those for as long as possible. And since we're in the Wind and Dragon category, I think I would hold that too. Because maybe we could play the news concealed hand and use the flower down here for something with 369. Either way, we didn't use any of these in any of these scenarios. So I would discard those first. Let's see what we can do for player two. Okay, now with this player, we have a pair of fours, a pair of fives, a pair of sevens, no flowers. Here's a pair of twos and a pair of sixes.
I'm kind of wondering if a year hand would work up here. We could use these for the white dragon. 2018 with news. This would be the concealed hand under the year category. And then here, something consecutive. Four, five, six. Maybe with the red dragon. Maybe even a pear hand if we can get a flower. One, two, three, four, five. All we need here is a flower. We could maybe play that consecutive pair hand with the matching dragon. That would be the fourth hand down under singles and pairs. Use this as joker bait. Or we could play two, four, six, eight in one suit, maybe even with the dragon. So I would start by discarding those. That's not a bad start here. We've got six discards for this plan. That's a strong start with options. So let's begin by discarding the one crack. And we'll draw for player two. There's a keeper. I had that in the wrong place. What'd that do up there? And we don't need that really. Okay, we're going to discard this five bam. And we can draw down here. Four bam. There's some consecutive one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. We still don't need these. Let's discard the eight bam. This is concealed and we have a pair there, which is required for that hand if we go that route. There is a two, four, six, eight hand that has four, eight bams. And we could technically call that eight bam, but we have no flowers. This would be the very first hand under two, four, six, eight. If I have a big gap like that, I wait. So we're gonna let that go and draw. Nine bam, that is a discard down here. If we're playing three, six, nine, we don't have near enough tiles to commit to a nine bam. Two crack. One, two, three. We don't need the sevens. Let's discard those. So this can probably go. Let's draw here. Eight crack. Pair, pair. Pair, pair. We need a six crack, a red dragon, and a flower to get comfy. So let's start getting rid of these dots. Nine dot. Two, there is some two, four, six, eight capability here. Two, four, six, eight with the matching dragon, the concealed hand under two, four, six, eight. So let's keep that. Focus on discarding those. Let's draw four bam. One, two, three, four, consecutive run. Maybe give up on the nines, use this as joker bait. So let's go ahead and discard the seven dot. And we can draw up here. Five, bam, we can discard that. Drawing for player one, four crack. That's consecutive. We've got a lot of consecutive in here. One, two, three. Here's a two and a one. I'm kind of thinking we should maybe go ahead and give up on three, six, nine. Hold this for joker bait. Focus on one, two, three, four. A lot of different things we could do here. I think the strongest potential is one, two, three, four. So let's, um, let's see here, four, four, four. When you count your tiles, count by fours. And if you have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven groups of four, that's 28. You got a discard. So we need to discard. 
let's discard the six band. And we're going to draw up here. If we were to play the two, four, six, eight concealed hand, we can't call that. And we have no flowers for that first hand, so I would let that go. Okay, there's Joker Bait. Let's hold that and discard the eight dot. So even though you know you don't need that three, hold it. Maybe you can get a Joker out of it. I mean, look here. We happen to be in two, three, four, one, two, three, four. Seven dot. We can discard that. Drawing for player two. Three bam. Now here, I think we need to decide if we want to commit. We have no gaps with one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Three, four, three, four. No flowers. Let's take it. So we're going to call it for a Kong and focus on one, two, three, four. We do have a joker we could maybe use down here. So we have three here. Let's hold the three and discard this one bam. We could maybe switch to like numbers with threes or two, three, four. If we can get our hands on a flower, we really don't need these right here. And this is Joker bait. Okay, let's draw. Two crack, two, four, six, eight, dragon. We're in between two, four, six, eight, and a pair hand. Let's just keep going. Seven dot. You don't have to pick a hand really till you run out of discards. Six dot, there's joker bait, keep it, and we'll discard the nine dot. Let's draw for player two. Five crack, there's a pung in there now. Let's just hang tight and discard the six dot. We don't really have to pick a hand till we run out of discards. We still have those to discard. So let's Think about this here. We do have a pair of sixes, but really we're committed here with the threes. Now we could potentially call that and play three, six, nine in mixed suits. Use this flower, perhaps. That might actually be better than one, two, three, four. We have to decide right now. Let's see. So if we did that, the two and the four here would be joker bait. They're all, they're both, both hands are using this. This would be that I'm talking about the three, six, nine hand, fourth one down on the right in mixed suits. We would have to use this. I think I'd rather use my flower up here and play one, two, three, four. All we need here is a four bam or a joker to get set. So let's just stay put. One dot. And now we can use this here. One, two, three, four. That's set. We can call here, here, and here. And since that player two discarded the six dot, this is not going to be good joker bait. So we'll throw that. Six dot. We can throw four dot. Uh, okay, so four dot, and now it's this player's turn. Flower. Okay, let's discard the six dot. And we can draw here. Joker. We kind of need that up here. Let's get rid of the three dot. We're going to start having to make some decisions up here. Let's draw. Four dot. Here's a three. We really don't need this two. We can draw up here. Two, four, six, eight. Okay, now let's just think this through here. 
There is a one suit 2468 hand where the 246 are Kongs. We'd have to throw away the fives though. Either way, we might have to throw those away. If we play two, four, six, eight with dragons, let's just count two, four, five, six, seven, eight. If we played the pair hand, one, two, three, four, five, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see. I think I would rather wait. There's a seven. Let's discard the three dot. We've got all kinds of, oops. We've got all kinds of options in here. We could play five, seven, nine with the dragon, but we've got to get some flowers. So we threw the three dot, we're down here now. Last tile in the second wall. Nine man, that's a discard. Okay, we're going into the middle game, third wall. Everybody should know at least what category they're in. We're doing consecutive run, wins and dragons, probably consecutive run or 2468, and then here the year hand or 2468. Drawing for player two. Nine crack. Now we have to decide. So we have five through nine or four through eight. Let's get rid of the nine crack. And this is not gonna work for Joker bait. If this player throws it, you know that's not gonna work for them. Eight bam. I would not commit to a 2468 hand. We have a gap, no fours. Eight dot. Drawing for player one. Joker. Okay, that's good. We need that up here for north and south with red. Let's discard these nine cracks. Nobody wants them. And we can draw up here. Nine dot. Player one. South. Very nice. Nine crack. Drawing for player two. Four dot we can throw. And these can go away. Seven dot. Drawing for player two. Green dragon. All right, now let's see. News is not coming in. Two, four, six, eight concealed. I think that's what we should commit to at this point. Two, four, six, eight dragons. No flowers required. No white dragons. Even though we have a gap, we can use the jokers. So let's go ahead and discard the south. Oh, we'll Kong that. I'm gonna put it in the back because that's gonna be for a different hand. So there's a Kong of south. Let's discard the east and draw. Seven bam. Drawing for this player. Six bam. Let's discard the four dot. That was a good safe discard because it was tossed. Let's draw. Green. I think we only need a pair here. We really don't need that. Let's discard the west though. And we can draw down here. Seven crack. Drawing for player one. Red. Oh my goodness. Oh, two, four, six, eight, red. Or four through, let's see, one, two, three, four, five. If we can get a flower, we could play that pair hand. Let's discard the one bam. And now we can draw for player two. Six crack. This is concealed. One dot. And we're gonna pung. You do not have to put your exposures in order during the game. When you win, you need to arrange it as it is on the card. So we need to get rid of all these. Let's discard the six bam. This hand is not ready. Let's see. 
yeah we're two or three away there we need to draw white dragon now it comes in white dragon wish that had come in four turns ago let's draw here one crack don't need that and we can draw up here five bam that is a discard drawing for player let's see here white one five drawing for player one four crack who knows let's get rid of the four dot and we can draw up here west drawing for player one nine bam we need a north up here let's draw east this player's throwing east and west so this player should know that they need a north because we have a kong of souths down oh look we get to exchange exchange please thank you okay ready to win on a north and we're down let's see here we need to discard i think four 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 and four okay three dot drawing up here nine crack we threw that earlier and here eight dot drawing for player two five dot drawing for player one two bam player two flower we got it we got it okay now one two one two three four five this is ready on a six crack no we need a six crack and a flower right here so let's go ahead and discard the five crack five crack here we go white dragon oh that year hand might have come in even though let's see oh that was up here not down here okay moving on oh look at that we got it we're ready on a flower okay seven crack oh that's exciting here we go green dragon we don't need that drawing for player two this is getting very exciting okay that's nice we need that in here let's discard that green dragon and we can draw for player one nine dot discard player two two crack we can discard that and these are safe drawing for player one eight dot player two five dot oh okay player one one dot one two three four we don't need this one dot we are going into the end game fourth wall very exciting Drawing for player two. Five crack. Player one. Look at there. We're zeroing in on a double mahjong here. Four crack. We need a flower here. East. Player one. One bam. Joker, we need that. Okay, now they're zeroing in on a double mahjong to crack. They need a four bam or a six bam or an eight bam. Any of those will be a winner for that hand. So we're gonna draw here, three crack. Player one, five bam. Oh, that's player two. Now we're at player one. Okay, we got a mahjong here so we have a full almost a full wall let's see if we can hold out just for a bit four crack and discard because we're ready to win here we could do a, a double mahjong which is where you declare mahjong for two hands at one time this hand 
one, two, three, four is a winning hand. But if we hold on to it and declare a winning hand here at the same time, we get double payment for both hands. So let's see, timing is critical in that regard because the other player could be doing the same thing. In this case, they are. We're one away from a double mahjong here too. So let's draw. Okay, Joker. So they have a double ma they have a single mahjong here. Let's discard the two crack and see what happens. Let's draw six crack. I think going, I think I might declare here. Let's see. Oh, I think, oh my goodness. Let's go one more time. One more time. Because if you don't have any mahjongs oh, declared, you get no score for those. Five dot. West. Oh, three dot. Okay. I'm thinking we're going to declare maybe next go around. Oh. Let's throw a four bam. And here, double mahjong. Double mahjong with a pure hand. I don't know if no jokers gets anything for Siamese mahjong, but we have a double mahjong here. There's the discard. And I use that joker up here. Oh, let's just put them down here so you can see. Double Mahjong. So this hand, even though it's a winning, oops, even though this is a winning hand because it's not declared, they don't get credit for it. Should have declared that. And I really struggled with doing it. I wanted to do it. We should have played a quint with all those jokers. But we are pretty committed, I think. Values doubled for Jokerless. So this is a double Mahjong. <laughs> so we're going to get double value for Jokerless and then double that because it's a double Mahjong. Double Mahjong. If you're holding out for double Mahjong in that fourth wall, you've got to really think about declaring one of your hands. In this case, it hurt because they that player, player two, had to pay 180 points. If they had declared that concealed hand, that would have discounted it by 30 points. That's a little painful. But they were trying for double Mahjong too. It's a risk you take and part of the fun of Siamese Mahjong, thanks to Gladys Grad of Mahjong Madness. Don't forget to look below the video for information about how to play the game. The demonstration link is down there. The rules are down there. Also a link to where you can play online. Thanks to Mahjong Time who programmed the online game for Gladys Grad at Mahjong Madness. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click the little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next Siamese Mahjong Solitaire game for National Mahjong League rules, may all your picks be keepers.